All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash. The bonus unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pursuing the truth and faith and sincerity. My brother Shamala from the GMS Houston camp. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Thank the Lord, right? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Thank the Lord for opening your eyes to see you know because the lord didn't have to and um to think about the things that we were doing right in the, our past lives but also in this current life um how will we how we were behaving in the world it's like we don't we don't deserve it Because the rest of our people in the world, the two thirds, they doing some of the, the same things that we were doing. But the Lord gave us a way out, or brought us up out of that darkness through this truth, right through this light, which is in Yahusha. And the Lord didn't have to do that. So like, you just gotta be um, grateful and thankful for even getting an opportunity at salvation. It's not everybody's gonna get this chance. In the world, you have many different things that people can go after, whether it's a, so you wanna be a actor, actress, a football player, basketball player, right? Rapper, singer, or you wanna be a doctor, you wanna be a lawyer police officer, whatever, right? You got the chance to do that. You can go and take the, the necessary steps, required steps to get you on track to obtain whatever profession or career you want to be in. But you can't do that for this, for this truth, for this knowledge that we have. You cannot do that. Even Yahweh Shah, what do you say? He said, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you. So you got to get chose. Here on earth, on earth, you can choose your profession. But these spiritual things, you can't choose that. Okay, so this lesson is basically going into, you know, you know, just being thankful that our eyes have been open to be able to see exactly, you know, what's going on, you know, in this current society to know how to break down these scriptures and how to relate what's going on today with the prophecies and knowing exactly what we need to be doing to avoid the destruction that's coming and how to possibly save us ourselves and our family i have something you really got to be thankful for and that the lord even bestowed you know such mercy on us but i'm gonna start here matthew 13 and 9 all right this lesson shouldn't be long it says who had ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speaks thou unto them in parables he answered said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given all right so yahushua was basically going into a parable and the disciples basically asked, why are you talking in, in such a way? And he said, it's the only given for you to understand, right? But to them, it is not given, right? The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, these secrets, the things that we know, the knowledge that has been revealed unto us through the spirit. These things are not given unto everybody. And this is not something that's, you know, it's not a light thing, all right? It's not a light thing. So, like, some fucking shit just flew in my car. <laughs> Satan. All right, but, yeah, man, this, this is not a light thing when you say, you know, the mysteries of the kingdom is not revealed to everybody because the mysteries of the kingdom, it, this entails everything. Right, all of the secrets, all of the you know, uh, going into these prophecies, what to what to do 
to possibly get salvation, you know, you got to understand these things. And he said, it's not, it's not given unto everybody. All right. <laughs> so, and dealing with everybody anyway, you know, it's um, only for the Israelites. And even amongst the Israelites, all of Israel is not even going to get it. Okay, but so the, but the Lord has chosen certain men to get this, and He's chosen other people not to get it and to be destroyed. Okay, so yeah, that's it's just it's serious because the ones who don't the, who don't come into this thing, they don't have no no protection. They don't have that covering from the Lord. They don't have that chance at salvation. Okay. That's a, and, and that's scary. So that's why we just gotta be grateful to be in this position that we're in. It says, for, for whosoever had to him shall be given, and he shall have more, he shall have more abundance, but whosoever had not from him shall be taken away, even that he had. Therefore, speak to I to them in parables, because they seen, see not, and they hear. And, they, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. So he says, and them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Now let's just go back to that prophecy real quick. This is dealing with Isaiah 6 and 8. 6 and 8 on down, right? Isaiah 6 chapter, okay? Uh, Isaiah 6 and 8 said, Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, I hear am I. Send me, right? Dealing with the angel. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So basically, they were going to be blinded to not be able to receive the truth so they can be healed. Right? Healed spiritually. Right? Because we have been broken down in the society. Right? Wounded. The scriptures speak about our people being, you know, spiritually dead. Okay? Also in the book of Isaiah um the putrefying sores and all those things came from the you know the curses right so this word is what heals us and these people are going to be blinded so that they won't be healed and come out of that you know that 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 dead state that wounded state that wounded mindset which was a result of the set of the curses I'm gonna read it in NLT. Harden the hearts of harden the hearts of these people, plug their ears and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. So the Lord don't want them to turn to him. He said, plug their ears and shut their eyes. Now, why why, why would the Lord do such a thing? It's simple because the Lord can do whatever he wants. The Lord can make some people get it. And he can make some people not. It's like the, the most I told Moses. Paul quoted it in Romans 9 that, you know, he had mercy on whom he can have mercy. And he will show compassion on whomever he will have compassion on. Okay, because he can do whatever he wants to. It's, it says there's no unrighteousness with the most I. And then it proceeds to say, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So until the destruction. So this is this is what's coming for a lot of people that are in this blinded mind, mind frame that the Lord didn't reveal the mysteries of the kingdom unto. Destruction. This is what awaits them. And we can see that. We can see what's coming. And we know what's coming. They don't. 
So we 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 can see each and every day, like when we around our people, man, how we could have been. We could have been just like them. Just strolling along in this world, trying to be some according to this world standards. Trying to, you know, achieve some type of comfort, right? Stability in this place. Trying to, you know, get established. You know how Jake say, uh, generational wealth. You know, stressing about all of these, th these, these many things. Okay. We don't have that stress no more with this truth because we know what's coming. We know that. This place is not going to last forever, and we will have something after this. But I'm saying we could have been just like them, though, distracted and awaiting destruction. But the Lord took us up out of that, and now we understand what's about to what's about to go down. All right, and that's mercy. Back here, Matthew 13. And 15, well, I started 14 again. And and them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, who was said, By hearing you shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their eyes are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. That's at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I shall heal them. So all this is happening so Yahweh shot King heals them, like you said in Isaiah 6. So these people will be thinking that they rejected the Lord, that you know they, they don't understand it, right? They they're not trying to get with it, right? Not knowing that the Lord already the Lord is the one that put you in that mind frame so that you won't even come unto this and be healed. Right? And had that chance of salvation. The Lord did it. You didn't you didn't reject him. Because this makes sense. All right, this is the truth. The Lord just made the truth, you know, sound abominable unto you. Made the truth, you know, sound like something wicked or something evil, you know, or, you know, something that just didn't make sense. The Lord may put that in your mind just so you wouldn't come. Hey, and that's scary. And, and for us, the Lord had done the opposite. I'm not saying that we have been saved already, right? But this is this is you know uh, a great start, or you know a good indicator that we could, you know, be saved, be amongst those that could be saved, and that's what we pray for. But the Lord flipped the switch on in our minds, right? What is that? I believe that's Second Corinthians, which says that the Lord had commanded the light to shine out of darkness. All right, so the Lord has flipped the switch in our minds and his light. All right, in our minds, where we can able to we, we know what's going on, but everybody else is not going to have that that the light switch, right? You know, turned on in their minds. Right, and we know that the light represents truth. The verse 13, I mean 16, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. All right, so he said, blessed are your eyes for they see it, your ears for they hear. So we are truly blessed to be able to understand the things that we understand. So you should never take it for granted, right? You know, because this is serious. This is a serious thing that happened. Even though our Lord, Yahweh was crucified for us to get this. And this 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 knowledge is going to bring immortality. This knowledge is going to bring a kingdom. So always, you know, realize, you know, the importance of it. There is nothing else on the planet Earth that could be compared unto this, and the Lord have given it to us. It says, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Now, during this particular time, the Messiah was amongst them. 
and the prophets and you know the men before always wanted to see the messiah okay or hear about the kingdom coming right these are the things that they wanted to hear and see and we are hearing all of these things and seeing all of these things like matthew 24 right what he he told them all of the things to look for okay and some of those things were dealing you know with 70 ad and some of those in these times and the disciples always ask well Ask the first chapter, and they ask about will the Lord restore the kingdom. It wasn't time yet. It wasn't time back then, you know, for all these things to happen, for the Messiah to return. All right. Because he told them, too, that the same way you see me go up into heaven, I'm going to come back. So they always been awaiting his return. And the prophets are back here today. The spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets, so. They hearing it today, all right. It's just th these are the times that we are in. Is the time that they were waiting for. We in them times. It's not going to be a four hundred, five hundred thousand. No, we 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 here, man. We here. All right. This thing can happen any, you know, any given time. That the Lord can have things, you know, to pop off, and to be on the on this course right time to be on this course all these prophecies to be on this course is just being fulfilled right and they are being fulfilled and we are awaiting what the uh the motb right it was just the karagma mentioned in revelation 13 16 all right jacob's trouble world war three right and then the, 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 the return of our lord and these things are close all right but this is first timothy one and twelve it says and i thank you how shall our lord who had enabled me for that he kind of me faithful putting me into the ministry right the yahweh watching me i was shot us faithful all right and enabled us to come into this all right putting us into this ministry to serve and to teach he counted us worthy to be able to do these things when in the world the thing that we were doing, we were doing things that would deem us worthy. The Lord just had mercy. Since who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief, right? And Paul, he was killing the believers, throwing them in jail, doing this and that, right? You know, he was speaking against the belief in Yahweh. And in a way we did it, we did all the same things. Right? Maybe not to that you know extreme, not to that extreme, um, but we were eating abominable foods. We were we were living an unholy, you know, lifestyles, not having any regard for the most high. Okay. And not and not knowing is is not an excuse. Because we are still bound, you know, by, I should say, we still have to keep and follow the law, statutes, and commandments. It just, we do it to the best of our ability. And because it's through Yahweh Shai that we're going to be perfect. Okay, but it's not like we don't have to follow any of these things. It's not really an excuse because it's our fault that we are here anyway and that we lost it in the first place. It's our fault. All right, but all people they they hearing it anyway. That so that's not really an excuse, right? The word has has gone out. Okay. But verse fourteen it says, "And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in the Yahweh Shai." This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Yahweh Shai came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. So he acknowledged that he was a a, a great sinner because of the things that he have done and we all can relate to this all right and we all still go off 
but the Lord gave it to us. Out of out of, out of all these people, man, out of all the Israelites, it's just Israel's is the son of the sea. The Lord gave it to us and gave us a chance. Okay, so you know, don't blow it. All right, speaking to myself, you know, to whoever listens. Don't blow the chance, man. Because this ain't nothing that we can do again. This ain't nothing that you get a second time or a third try. All right, this is it. All right, it's real life. You know, it's not a video game. So, yeah, man, you know, that's the lesson. I'm just edifying until you all. With that, I'm going to say shalom.